grew up from grade 7 to I studied at Edinburgh International School and today I am going to be talking about a male practice that has been going on in our society for years. No, it's not racism. It's not gender inequality. It is comparing a child to Sharma the son. This really is a serious concern for a child as it can lower their self-esteem if they think everyone is better than them. Look at Sharma the son. In academics, he might be number one. But this is just not the race that I want to run. Stop saying, why are you smart and Sharma the son? If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will be wanted by barriers of unrealistic expectation and a true ability could never be set free. I see no difference between people who forcibly convert other people into different religions and parents who convert their children into Sharma the son. Stop it. It's a crime. Stop making a child into a mind. Stop comparing them to Sharma the son. Time to time. Look at Sharma the son. He is so polite and well behaved. He might be. But does he hug his parent as time as me? Look at Sharma the son. He wants to be a pilot. I also could have wanted to be something too. If you had just let me. Look at Sharma the son. He just won an elocution. For an elocution, you need an independent mind to think about topics and ideas. How do I win an elocution? Because everything I have done in my life have been your thoughts and ideas and just my execution. Your child needs to develop their own mind. Your intentions might be to push them ahead, but by comparing them, they might be left behind. Can you imagine? At if Sachin Tandukar's parents compared him to Sharmadi's son and wanted him to do what Sharmadi's son did, don't give your child examples of famous and successful people. If you are not willing to be parents of those people, don't tell your child to do what Charmadi's son does and don't tell your child that he can't do this or that because you can. Don't limit your child's dreams to limit to yours. Let him do what he loves. He will be successful only then when they do what they love but not what Charmadi's son loves. Mark Zuckerberg Bill Gates and Steve Jobs are examples of people who changed the world because they loved what they did. So, if this time your child does not score good marks in exam, do not scold him, punish him or compare him to Sharmadi's son. Instead, tell them, don't worry, life isn't just a piece of paper. Or as Amir Khan best said, Khona jaiye tare zameen par. Thank you.